Rose from the Philippines. Uh, welcome to the 246th episode of Gunchil Viera, a show and tell of crochet and craft related items. I'm making an earlier podcast today because on Saturday we're going to visit another dead loved ones at the Ta- at Tai Tai Memorial and also we're going to visit my cousin which is just right from there. So it's going to be happening on Saturday. So today is November 2, 2021. It's a Tuesday and it is All Souls Day today. You might recognize my background which is the bird that I just painted and also Doopy. We haven't seen him for a while now so I just put him here. He is my co-host from my previous videos from before. The very one of the very first amigurumis that I have made out of the yarn that Ms. Jan gifted me. So that is Doopy. So today I'm going to share with you guys the hats that I've been making for the planned donation for Arts of, Arts of Thread from Miss Nelly. So I have been um, making some hats recently out of the yarns that Miss Shirley gifted. The first one that I made is this beanie here, which is just using some double crochet. For the brim, I use half double crochet. So this is the yarn that has no label to it, but I think it is a red heart yarn. So I was able to make uh, my sister-in-law's son, which is my nephew, an ear earphone cover from this. So I was going to try to make one regular beanie and one divine hat but then this one isn't enough for the divine hat so i'm going to set it aside first and figure out what to do with this so i was able to whip this hat here which is some simple hat that the child can wear this is how long it is and these are gonna be some donated hats for kids that have cancer although I'm doubting the fiber for it uh, if it is hot in the head or not but I'm using the yarns and this is the first one that I have made so what I'm thinking or planning about is to make one regular beanie and then a divine hat so one will be for donation and one will be to sell on Shopee so for this yarn here, I use what we call the I love this uh, Red Heart Super Saver, which is called Dog in the colorway Dog. So I have some leftovers of this yarn here, and you know me, I always love salvage yarns, some leftover yarns that I can whip up with doing another project. So. I did these two hats with some leftovers for the dog yarn and yes what I'm trying to do is make one for the nation and one to sell but I may change my mind about that and then I wanted to make another one so as I'm working on this first one I am putting another yarn near me so that I can look forward to making another one so it is just on standby uh, when I'm working on the certain uh, certain yarn. I have something on standby that I can look forward to making since I'm kind of in a, a hat making mode right now or a hat state of mind. So that's the first one using the dog. And the second one that I made is this one here. This white yarn that has streaks of gray on it. It's like a marbled look to it. So this one is called the Bernard Bernat Super Value in the colorway gray rag. So for this one, it is 197 grams. And I was able to make a divine hat. So if you're interested to in making the divine hat, I will put a link on the tutorial that I studied it from or learned it from. So I made two of those. I forgot to tell you guys, for the regular beanies that I have been making, 
I'm going to try to turn it into character hats or character beanies because that is what uh, Ate Kitanelli suggested. So for this one, I'm going to put some features on it just like uh, ears and snouts and other features like the eyes for this one. So those are not finished yet. We still need some features added to them. And I remember one of my former uh, customer that is also a neighbor and a friend of mine, Mom Edna. Uh, I used to make some character hats for her. I remember making her some Minion ones, some Elmo, and even a Sullivan from Monster Inc. So the ones that I made her are shorter than this ones because she just would like to cover her head since most times it's kind of windy whenever an electric fan is on her um so though the sad uh sad story about it was she died um she had this disease for a while now um and i remember um talking to her by their sari sari store and her asking me for some of the character hats before she died I am making some coasters for her, but I wasn't able to finish it, so I kind of regret it in a way. All of the hats that I have made for her are still with her sister, and his nieces and ne her nieces and nephew would like to wear them, but they are a bit big. Uh, her sister wanted me to alter it, but then I wouldn't be able to do that, so maybe they are wearing it sometimes because I have uh, made her maybe about 9 to 10 of it so back to the, <laughs> to the hat so they needed to have pictures on them for them to be character beings and she's the one mom Edna who told me that they are not hats they are called bonnets or beanies because hats have some type of brim to it so I learned that from her for this one I have made two hats and I have some leftovers of it that I bought after I finished working on it and what's different about it is that I used to uh, start working on a project from the outside but for these projects here I pulled it from the inside since I find it much more easier to do it that way because the yarn is kind of heavy because it's a bul bulky type of yarn. So it was easier for me to pull from the inside and continue working on my project. So this is a leftover for that one. So there are also two other yarns that I worked on which is called I Love This Yarn, Super Soft. The first one is Turquoise. The second one is Pink. So both of them have 325 meters to them. This one, the gray rag, has about how many meters? 389. So that is why this is bigger than this one. So for the I Love This Yarn Super Soft, Super Savings Yarn in Pink, I was able to make a regular beanie and a divine hat. And also for the turquoise one, I was able to make a divine hat and a regular beanie that I can maybe turn into a Sullivan one and these are the leftover yarns from both of them this is a bit bigger than this one but they are made for all of the four of this and they are all the Red Heart Super Saver yarn the I Love This yarn and the uh, Burnett Super, Va Super Value all of them are a number for medium weight yarns and one of them has 225 meters the other one has about 389 and the last one has 215 meters to it so those are most of the hats that I was able to accomplish during this panel a few days so I'm quite happy with them although they are a bit straining to the hand since they are thicker than the usual ones that I made from before, like the love nuts yarn from these hats here. They are thinner 
And I am using this 3.25 meter hook, which is the letter D here. So maybe I'm just not used to it since it is a US type of yarn. So the next yarn that I'm looking forward to making is I picked this one, this yellow lemony color yarn here, which I think is also a red heart one, but it has a different ball band to it. So from this one, I am also pulling on the inside. And what I'm gonna do with this, it reminds me of the minion hats that I made from before. It is the same color. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna make maybe two minion hats out of this yarn here. Or maybe I will have some leftovers. So I'm on that part where I'm putting the strap part of the goggles. And I don't have any other red heart yarns in black. So I have this familiar yarn. That is the same thickness as the yellow that I'm using. So that is why I chose this one for the for the goggle parts of the minion and then i started i continued working on the one using mercerized cotton thread and since i'm doing this i'm gonna try to make more using mercerized cotton thread i still have some yarns that i stuck from before that i am aiming to turn into mavis dress but then Maybe I could just turn them into small beans. I'm quite excited to share with you guys the stuff that I've been making lately. So for the coquette rectangular shawl as I'm calling it right now, I have some progress with it. But I'm making it on the side. So this is a leftover for the dog yarn. And then, I'm quite excited also because uh, a while ago, I was able to receive the diamond painting that I ordered from China. And I made the first impression unboxing video for that. So please do check that out. I will put that. I will merge that along with this video here. Hi guys! So, the package arrived today from China. It took about... Uh, one whole week to get here actually one week and, and a day so this is the diamond paintings that i ordered and i'm going to see this along with you guys so the first one is a sunflower inspired one and the other one are some fishes or koi so i'm going to unbox it with you guys I'm hoping that the drills are complete. So this is the first one. I ordered two so that I can save for the shipping fee. And it came from China. So this one is the sunflower one. Because uh, my cousin requested... Because I already gave the three diamond paintings to my titos and my aunt. And my cousin wants something also. So it's either this or the other sunflower. Although I think the sunflower I will give to my other cousin. So this is the sunflower one. And it has about 25 colors to it. So I'm going to count how many there are. Maybe I'll just count it later. <laughs> and then there's this other one which are koi's. I have been eyeing this diamond painting for a while and it has two different designs to it. So I decided to pick this one here. With the koi's gathering around something. Maybe someone is feeding them. So I'm also going to show this to you guys on my on my regular podcast to show you guys i just wanted to make a first impression unboxing type of video so along with it are some tray and wax and also the drill pens doesn't have any pick or tweezer to it that's okay so 
that is my unboxing got to mention so the size of this one is 30 by 40 and it has 14 colors to it and then it is a in the horizontal type of way and the other one is you know vertical type of way and it has 25 drills to it so one into five okay. okay so complete that is for the sunflower for the koi ones they are in individual resealable bags why doesn't it have the number one so this is the number one it should be in this front part here there's one two three four where's the five this is the five, this is the six, seven, eight, it's in the back, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, this is the twelve, this is the thirteen, and this is the fourteen, so it's complete. It's an individual bag, so I wouldn't need to get it. I'm just going to use it as is. So that's my purchase. I'm going to show you very briefly the uh, diamond, diamond painting that I have received today. This is the first one. It shows some sunflowers. I was able to make a diamond painting before. But that one has some orangey, more on the orange part or the orange color than this one which uh, leans more toward being yellow so i'm quite excited this is a 30 by 40 size of diamond painting it is a full drill diamond painting 30 by 40 it has 25 colors to it um, and also you can really read the labels to it yeah, you can easily read it. And then the other one that I have bought along with this one so that I can save on shipping and also for waiting for it is this koi fishes here. This is not my first choice for the koi fishes but it caught my eye and I really love how they are uh, going to this certain part of the diamond painting. So with this one, it only has 14, 14 uh, colors to it, but I think my problem will be uh, noticing the W and the Bs, recognizing the right, because sometimes the W looks like the letter B, and sometimes the O looks like, but I think it is readable, readable enough. So I will be working on that on the next couple of days and you will be seeing more of this in the future. So I was able to keep the, the drill. What I did was I put the sign on each one of it which is the label from the diamond painting and then I put safety pin, pin on all of them. And then I put it back here. For the sunflower one, what I did was I cut them all and then put them on the what you call impatible or safety pin. So now they are sitting in this bag here that I have made specially for diamond painting. And then I have this tree and other stuff included. My niece from my cousin's side decided to buy for me the order that she made before i have this listed on shopee and now i deleted it because she said that she will get it from me soon since she is expecting some uh, payment for something 
So we comes along the shorts here. And these are using some moisturized cotton thread. I think it has been sitting in my storage for maybe two years or one and a half years now. So along with this, I wanted to make her something. So I decided to, since this color goes along with the bikini set, I decided to gift her this one so she will have a complete outfit of the bikini set and this. Uh, what do you call it? Barefoot sandals. And hopefully in the future I will also have some sewing projects since I have been collecting the leftover ones that we have made from our previous projects like the bed sheets and the pillowcases. So I still have this much. I am hoping that more will be added to it soon. Maybe <laughs> from some other projects. So those are most of the stuff that I want to share with you guys. I don't know if my uh, memory of this phone is getting full right now. But I have been in this uh, movie binge watching mode right now. So after a certain movie, I'm finding another on Netflix. And sometimes after a movie, I find some horror Agatha Christie mysteries on YouTube to rewatch. So... That's what I've been doing lately, although I'm trying to catch up with my Team Organic group um, videos and also the Yarn Community videos. What I do for Yarn Community videos is I put them on a playlist so that I can watch it later. But the only problem is I, there's sometimes I wasn't able to comment on them. So the most of the movies that I watch is War of the Worlds from I have watched it from before so I keep stopping the video because sometimes the music comes from the TV mama is watching from the other room so that is also why I have I have this earphones instead of the regular one with no earphones so, what I have been uh, watching lately are movies that I have watched in the past, although I wanted to watch Leap Year and also 84 Sharing Cross again, but they're not available on Netflix anymore and they are also not available on YouTube. So, for most times, I'm just um, catching some Poirot and Miss Marple. Um, Miss Marple series on, on YouTube some type of alternate from the movies because I'm finding it hard to find I'm finding it hard to look for movies that I wasn't able to watch in the past although there are some other movies that are out there but I really don't like horror movies so this past few days I am finding some series one of them is Real Detective and one is called Motive. So they are some type of de detective or forensic type of videos, criminal type of videos. So after that, I really wanted to <laughs> refresh my mind for some Poiro series that I think is a little bit... Um, lighter if you may call it from the ones that i watch from netflix and also i was able to watch this movie again i found it on netflix called bridges of madison county i remember crying when when the movie is on the last bits of it and when i was watching it the other day i told myself i'm not gonna cry anymore <laughs> but when it got to that part where they are not going to be together <laughs> i really cried just a bit but <laughs> it, it also made me cry that for that moment i would like to make a shout out for jasser booklier which is the admin of team of team organic uh, her real name is jerlyn but her channel is named after her son jasser so i'll put her link on the description box below she recently has been a member of my channel so 
If you are guys are interested to be a member, please do so. I have two levels of it and the perks are added there. So if you're interested, please do so. It will help me very much. Some of the proceeds will be given to my local church and sometimes sometimes I use it for my giveaways. Although some of my giveaways are a little bit private because most of the ones that I want to give away to are within the Philippines since it is horrendous uh, shipping out items outside. Those are most of the stuff that I want to share with you guys. I deeply appreciate you watching my videos and keeping up with me. So I hope you won't get you won't get bored with me in a way. Uh, I really would love to make a video today, even though it's just Tuesday. I would like to show you everything that I have done, and maybe you will see them in the future. And they are already made into character hats. So I will take pictures of them and make a slide video at the end of my podcast. So I'm gonna let you guys go now and edit these videos. Thank you very much and God bless everyone.